Hello everyone, in this video we are going to uh, talk about a very very simple integration which we do every day and very very uh, simple function is there uh, like integration 2 plus x dx. Okay, So one way of uh, calculating it uh, would result in this function 2x plus x square by 2 plus c but another method can give you 2 plus x whole square by 2 plus c. So if we just uh, disregard this uh, integration constant then we'll be getting uh, apparently two different functions actually they are uh, two different functions how we'll see uh, in a while uh, but before that let us first do the integrations and see whether we actually get these functions okay uh, so first integration 2 plus x dx can be uh, split it into two parts uh, so integration 2dx plus x dx and then the integration process is easy so integration 2dx is just 2x and integration x gives you x square by 2 plus c c is the integration constant okay so we have seen the uh, one of them at least right and secondly we can uh, do this ma use method of substitution okay uh, 2 plus x can be substituted by v well then dx becomes uh, dv right and then integration integration transforms into this integration v dv instead of 2 plus x v and dx is dv and the, this gives integration to be v square by 2 plus c right and then replace v back uh, 2 plus x square by 2 plus c right well so earlier it was uh, 2x plus x square by 2 plus c and then now it is 2 plus x whole square by so indeed we get these uh, solutions right now are they different let us see earlier this and now it is this if i open this bracket up then i will get 4 plus 4x plus x square by 2 again plus constant and then by 2 if we perform it is giving 2 plus 2x plus x square by 2 so without the integration constant c you see that uh, two functions 2x plus x square by 2 and 2 plus 2x plus x square by 2 they are different okay but up to plus 2 only so why is this difference there and which one will be the correct answer to this question okay so are they different actually so before that before we answer this question we will be understanding what is the meaning of integration okay so suppose integration 2 plus x dx is given and integrating this function means what this is an indefinite integral and integrating integrating this function means uh, is not uh, producing one function but a collection of function okay so suppose this is box uh, this box collects all the functions which are possibly answer to this question this integration right well, so what are the functions or which functions actually qualify to be inside this box? Okay, uh, this is the answer. So fx, a function, if it is inside the box, that should give df dx equal to 2 plus x and vice versa. If you find, irrespective of this integral, if you find any function which is giving df dx to be 2 plus x, then that function must be inside this box. So a function is inside this box if and only if df dx or the differentiation gives 2 plus x, right? Now, if we uh, think of the first solution like 2x plus x square by 2 plus c, which means what? c is arbitrary constant and therefore we must take, we must consider each and every real, real number to be c and then you get one function, right? You get actually a collection of functions that collection is the first box okay and in the second solution we have written 2 plus 2x plus x square by 2 plus c right again we have to take c to be all possible real numbers okay and then collect all the functions inside the second box right are these collections the same the answer is yes for example if i ask uh, the number the collection of all numbers in the one hand and in another collection of all numbers of the form 1 plus x they will be the same collection here uh, that uh, that uh, that c can take pretty much any value right and we should put all the values of c okay then 
this 2 plus c which is a constant will be exactly the collection of all real numbers if 2 plus c gives you collection of all the real numbers without 2 plus c part the functions are same right and therefore as a whole the collections become equal actually therefore any of them or both of them are actually giving correct answer to the integration because as a whole as a collection they are same but that is the importance of integration constant without the integration constant these functions are very very different okay the functions are not at all same but with the integration constant if you keep collecting all possible functions for all possible numbers c then you get actually the same collection and that is the answer so basically any of them gives you the correct answer but keep in mind with this integration constant plus c okay yeah so we understood why this integration constant is very important and without that constant so many confusions are coming up right yeah that's all in this video if you like the content please do press the like button and consider subscribing our channel uh, to motivate us i sincerely thank you for watching.